Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the glorious unified supply network of the coup almost won. <laughs> Consisting of Germany, Poland, Yugoslavia, the Dutch Reich, Iraq and Greece facing off against the Allies comprised of Italy, France, the UK, the Northern Americas and most of Africa. The Popular Front Bloc which is comprised of uh, the SSSR and uh, Spain. I think that's it, right? Oh, right, and the Iberian Socialist Union, which is not a union in, of Iberia, but rather yes. a union in Iberia. Yes. And to fight these mighty powers, I am joined once again by the wonderful Adaway. Hello there. It was getting quite late last time we played this, so I'm... Uh, yes. I'm looking at what the heck's going on here. In fact... Let me just bring my own stream up. Uh, if I can remember how you do stuff. I think I'm going to sacrifice 5% of my civilian factories, which actually ends up being only 3%, in order to get the non-core manpower guy, which I assume I have. Because my stream. manpower is pretty bad. Hello, chat. Welcome to uh, Europe. Um, we are Germany and Poland, the uh, world's most appropriate alliance. Absolutely, yep. Um, and we are struggling to uh, take Europe. Last time we nearly died. Both emperors with quite prominent noses. Yes. This is true. But, yeah. Going so well, so far. Uh, the mine's, mine's more prominent. But maybe that's just the... It's, just the, uh, it's kind of the yeah. angle, yeah. Painting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, we need to... So we're working on France, and I have... My tanks are deployed to France at the moment. Yes. Do you need them? Um, so... I'm not sure because because I feel like I need more infantry. Okay. But, we, but, we, I, mean, but I mean, then it's like there's supply problems, but we need the punching power. Let's see. Let's. How, how many tanks have you got here? Uh, three, four. Okay, yeah, they're, they're over there where the supply is horrendous. Yeah, they're just, uh, I had them, or they've already pre-planned their invasion of Luxembourg, so I'm just going to have them see if they can push that through, which okay. it looks like they can, by the way. I'm which should see... help with the supply situation, because there's a uh, hub in Luxembourg. Oh, we need, um, we need air. Oh, they have 1,500 fighters over in France. Oh, yeah, and fighter is sub fighters are substantially buffed. Um, so oh, man, I'm, I'm not getting close to that. All right. Let's... I, have a, I have a lot of fighters on fighters, and I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere near that. Let's uh, let's stop making railway guns quite so much. Put more into fighters. Did let's I catch a more. railway gun? I feel like I did, but. Okay, let's hold here. Where's their next supply house? There. So if I can push down to here, in Italy, they will be sorry in Africa. They'll be basically without supply hubs. That seems. Stuff. There you go, there's Luxembourg, Luxembourg, you're welcome. Wonderful. Reunification of the Low Countries. Is there anything else I need to be building? How are we on fuel? Not too bad, but we could do with more. I think I will build some more synthetic refineries. I'm there pretty good on fuel. I, got f I mean, I'm full, 436,000, and I'm gaining per day at the moment because I'm not using a major tank offensive. For my, I've only got subs out. Um. France, could you, could you not try and reinforce, please? I'd appreciate it. Yeah, that's that's helped with the supply situation on the eastern front, but not not fully resolved it. How are these Hussar divisions? They're not that bad, to be honest. They're a bit fat, though. Let's shrink them down. Add in... You know what, actually? I'm going to start using anti-air. Have I been building it? Yeah. Support anti-air in my tank divisions. Yeah, I think we might need that because we're not going to get green air anytime soon. And then we can start getting some... Uh... Yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to design a an anti-air tank. See how that works these days. I need to, I need to upgrade. Um, do you have to upgrade? Yeah, because you need to get to... Like 1940. Ah, oh, crap, like yeah. More, more anti-air guns. Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah, it'll probably be really weak, whatever you can make. I can get it pretty fast, though. Oh, 
Spain's cancel their lend lease. So the US, the USSR likes us and we have a non-aggression pact, right? Yeah, so we're safe on that front for, for a while. And Iraq exists. Do you have any exile governments right now? Uh, no. I don't think so. Where do I see that? Is it in the political screen? Yeah, F, uh, Q, and then... Yeah, is it collaborations? Yet. No, okay. I, I, I haven't got any, regardless. Okay. Right, sorry, you have to be, uh, you have to be democratic. democratic. Yeah, yeah, I have a mod that removes that restriction. And by I have a mod, I mean I made a mod, because I might as well flout my, <laughs> my mod-making capabilities. I've been really enjoying the fact that I'm now, you know, I'm not great at Paradox Modding by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm now good enough that if I want something really relatively simple, a ch simple change, I can just change it, which is very satisfying. Twitch thinks you're playing E4. Good point. Thank you. Man, this is, pushing through these woods is hard. Stop trying to reinforce France. My tanks are uh, doing some good work. And yeah, we've got them. Oh no, I haven't got the motorized. Crap. Yeah, no, fully motorized then. We need a bunch of trains, a bunch of convoys. Yeah, all set. Expand Krakow Industries. Give me two factories. Wow, is that really what I'm down to here? <laughs> Get three. We have three consumer goods factories. That seems that seems bad. Some conscripts. Yeah, these these all seem really bad. <laughs> Anti tanks useful, I guess. Or whatever. Yeah, my tank. The uh, the French can't stop my tanks. I think. When it says an eight percent reduction on air, enemy air superiority. I assume that means a flat 8% reduction on the amount of modifier it would have on you, rather than an 8% reduction of the amount of modifier it would have on you? Uh, I would think so. Yeah, it looks like that. If I'm only getting minus 10% breakthrough from enemy air, then it, it should be way higher than that. Yeah. I need to concentrate my tanks more, but then the, then the supply problem gets really bad. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's pretty nasty. But Reims is a new supply hub. And uh, Armens, I'm not sure, in the north. There's another one. Where? <laughs> the one on the coast. The next oh. city. Armens? Oh. Um, um, Amiens? I don't know how you'd say that. Uh, Amiens? Mm, that sounds plausible. Don't mind that stream, just two Anglos trying to work out how to pronounce <laughs> French place names. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna fly some interceptions over France, and we'll see how it goes. Have you got your, your planes over northern France. I have a bunch of planes over northern France, yeah, but I'm also on the homeland. Do you really have a bunch of planes over northern France? Oh, I have cats over northern France. Okay. Northern France. Uh, I just took one of their 2,000 air bases, which should help. That's also, gonna help. Right, let me try and another planes. So I've taken another supply hub off them and encircled them on the front line. I'm having trouble pushing through Americans in these forests. Well, I've got you some planes to push through down here. Oh. Yeah, the trouble is, it's like, the trouble is, there's, there's, if I move my tanks there, there's going to be no supply. Well, once Reams is re-kitted, it's a supply hub, so yeah, improved. But All right, I'm not training any men. I should probably try and take some armor divisions, but I have no light tanks spare. Am I in the hole on light tanks? Yes, but only slightly. Okay. And I'm making... I've got 10... 20 factories on planes, which is not a huge number. Wasn't I researching modern tanks or something dumb? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that's right. I, I can get modern tank. tanks in a year and a half. That's fun. Balance. Balance, indeed. I'm losing not too many planes over France, to be honest. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, they're not going to be able to stop my tanks on the on the road to Paris down here, I don't think. It should substantially yeah, I, 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 your tanks, Oh, your tanks are... They got more soft attack or something? Uh, my tank division, base, yeah. has 400 soft attack and 427 breakthrough. It's 30 uh, what's off the back? 403. Yeah, it's way more than mine. Because yeah, because mine, mine have the anti-infantry guns. Yeah. Yours are all SPA, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They okay, have yeah. the... Uh, what's it called? The close support gun. Main armament. That's right. And a bunch of, a bunch of my tank divisions are actually the... Uh, my, small, my small tank divisions, which are... Um, have mechanised in them. Right, yes, I have not upgraded to mechanized yet. Um Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I should I shouldn't have gone I shouldn't have gone away from like SPA so quickly. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. Du -du -dum. Du -du -du -du. They're really They're fighting me over here, but it's not gonna stop me. And yeah, fuel and supply is becoming an issue here. But Reams... How long is it going to take for it to get... I don't think you can see how long until it's re-kitted. Fighters. Yeah, and I'm not worrying about naval stuff yet at all. Man, I am... A lot of tanks in the hole. Yeah. Like 1.6 thousand medium tanks. Jesus, drop a division. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, I'm 43 in the hole, but I'm I'm gaining six a day these days. Why are you fighting the fighting the French as Poland? I can't remember. Why are we fighting the French? What do they do? Um, what is this war? <laughs> uh, we're at war with. Like everyone, France I'm guaranteed. Um, yes, that's right. Romania, I think. I think that's why yes. we're fighting them. Yes, that's right. Oh my god, the supplies are terrible. You're, you're attacking across the river that you don't. I'm need not. To. No. Why are you attacking? We should be doing that. Oh yeah, the supplies. Now that you're attacking, you're right. You're like your medium tanks are pretty nasty. <laughs> Here, I'll go get the Paris supply out, but that'll make things easier. Oh, the light, these light tanks. Look at them. Have you seen them on the map, by the way? Look at my <laughs> advancing light tank model. A tiny little thing. Yeah. <laughs> Diddy little dude. With a tiny little gun on the front. Looking like an absolute... He looks like a nerd. I don't know how a tank can look like a nerd, but he does. Fight foreign motor companies. Hmm. I'd have to make people like me that we're at war with, so that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, Paris is open. Go for it. Good. And then if we can push the Dieppe. Yeah. I'm going to wrap this up. Also, cut their rail line here, south of Paris. Yes, Eastern Don't. Poland. The recovery of Eastern Poland is high on the list of priorities. Don't you worry. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a disaster. That was that was because Lithuania asked for um, Vilno, and then Soviets took half of your country at the same time. That's right. That's Just for kicks. kicks. And now you've taken Vilnius. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, you are Vilnius. That's my core state. You asshole. Give me that back. Uh, I can't, I don't think. Hey, what? Wait, do I? Do I oh, have... what are you, are you kidding me? What's happened? They capitulated to the Soviet what? Union. What? What? What a load of shit. <laughs> how has that happened? Literally, how has that happened? I don't know how it calculates that. That's but... that's absurd. We, 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 can't even, we can't even ask for it. No, we can't. They're not, they're not an African... Well, once we take out Italy, the USSR is, is on the chopping block. Yay, Vilnius! It's another 500,000 core manpower. That's outrageous. 
We can try and let the US retake some of the north of it. Don't kill the okay. pocketed US divisions in the north. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because they because they will do. They will. The, the French will come and stop them at some point, but... And in the inverse, don't let Paris fall to them. Oh, I know what I should do. There we go. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? I asked for control of Ile de France and it just gave me the whole state. From from who? From the Dutch. Oh, from the Dutch? <laughs> okay, I, I don't know why it gave me the whole state. They definitely shouldn't have done that. They said no. Time to, time to kick them and invade the Dutch. No, the Dutch are good at helping in the navy. Are they? They? Actually, they actually have a navy. Well, a very like, small one. Yeah, but bigger than bigger than mine. Bigger than yours, yeah. Submarine warfare goes okay. I've sunk some stuff. Convoys. My glorious, like, basic U-boat that I haven't upgraded at all. I'm just going to activate a battle plan in, in Africa until they meet resistance. Right. Where have my tanks gone? There they are. Oh, we can take the planes out of the sky. No point fire, for having them fighting a losing battle to no end over northern France, really. Yeah. Uh, where have my infantry gone? They seem to have taken on some very, very interesting front lines. God, it's so annoying how local agent recruitment repeatedly means you have to go and tell it you don't care about it. Oh, fucking goddamn. Let me set a front line against multiple nations. Why is in this so hard? In different factions, yes. I you can do a stupid full bat line. Hey, he took Ile de France back off me. Give that Rightful back. Dutch clay, everyone knows this. Give it back. <laughs> it's weird. When you ask for control from a state from somebody, and then you capture the final province in that state, it gives it back to them. Every time. And I do not know why. Yes, Mexico will be non-aggressive, surely. Why is Portugal the same colour as Spain? Uh, because aesthetics are for scrubs. <laughs> that is funny. It's because of the Iberian Union. Yeah. Iberia Socialist Union. Yeah, you're right. It's like it's like there's there's that king who said he was the king in Italy, not the king of Italy. Oh yeah. Because the Pope got mad. That's usually the reason kings do weird stuff. Pope got peeved. Yeah. Supplies are not great. Where? In France. Yeah, but they're not problematic. You don't have a... Are you, have you got guys moving into a front line against like Mets and stuff? Yes. Good. They're taking the, the trucks right now. <clears throat> yeah, I think you have earned this. Thank you. You know what you could do, by the way? You could totally cheese this. If you gave me control of all of your... Like, who, who, which of us has more war participation? Oh, me, by far. Like, if I gave you control of all of the states that I control, and yeah. then asked, like, the Dutch for more more land, they'd be more willing to grant it, because they'd think, like, oh, he has less than he deserves, and then you could just give oh, it Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's totally cheesable. Right, we should, I should probably deal with this, like... Um, Italian nonsense down here. Do we have the supplies? Yeah. The supply, the, sorry, the uh, Italians against uh, in Albania. Yeah. Yeah, let me know when you arrive and I'll move my men out of the way because I have a lot of dudes there right now. Well, not a lot, but full army. Let me move all my. Ah, oh, goddamn. To be honest, we'll need, we'll need your tanks probably. Yeah. Because my tanks won't be like won't be won't be good enough because they're all um, not enough soft tank, and none of our opponents have any tanks. So the medium yep. tanks are not doing not doing a lot of good. 
Let's push the French out now. I think this is, uh... Well, um, I don't know. Maybe we should let them keep going in the south, but just kill them in the north so it's just simpler to... Yeah, I'm just sort of like pushing them more like 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 like, like I'm rolling clouds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As soon as we finish doing that, because the problem is they're they're now connected to Italy again, in the south. I'd rather they didn't do that. Yeah, let's let's push hard against them now because we uh, there aren't that many factories in southern uh, southern France anyway. Yeah. We do want. I mean, we would like Brest ideally because it's a good place to base ships to get out of. But I don't know, this isn't really a ship campaign. We should do that next, by the way, like a proper, uh, more naval campaign, because I think naval supply and stuff is going to be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Apparently air supply is still, like, uh, is, like, broken. Oh, OP as hell, so I've heard. Mass mass massively, yeah. I've basically um, decided to just not use it for a bit. I think they're going to, I believe it'll be patched. Yeah, probably. In... Oh, sorry, I forgot, match in line. Don't tap there. Just go around them. I have... Broken the Italian line and the Venice. Oh, nice. I have troops there. Yeah, not in a huge way, but it's gonna, it's gonna escalate. Let me, let me pin their line. Yeah, they do not have enough men here, I imagine, because they're rushing tons into uh, France right into now. France, yeah. Yeah. Push them out of here so I can have those tanks freed up. Right, so I need to go to my mechanized and just like ramp up the engine on these mechanized. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think it's a base of once you get up to like mechanized two and three and you put their like max engine stat, then they it can go like crazy speeds and you can have tank divisions mechanized that go like just wild speeds. Nice. It's so easy to get light tanks to go like 15, 16 kph. And yeah, then you can get a little of of them with <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I don't even know what focus to do. Yeah, I kind of run out of useful focuses, to be honest. At least that's what it feels like. <clears throat> do you need anti tank tech for better tank guns? Yeah, you do. The artillery tech, isn't it? The only tank guns will give you better tank destroyer guns. Sorry, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yes. The heavy howitzer. 50 soft attack. That's double. Holy crap. That's a lot. That's a lot. You are not mistaken. Where are the French dockyards? I don't seem to have any dockyards in the north here. Huh. I guess those are in the south. Oh I'm behind on my artillery, artillery research, actually. I'm okay on normal artillery, but... You're importing oil from me, by the way, if you need it. Uh, I don't think I do. I've got 117... Oh, I'm, I'm buying it all from the Soviet Union, that's why. <laughs> well, buy from me instead! Okay, I, uh, I actually don't need any, but um, I will when I need it when I do. Well, it's because you're buying from the US, Soviet I've, Union. I've, I've cancelled my All Soviet right. imports. Alright, good. I've now, only, I've now only got a 21 oil surplus rather than a 117 oil surplus. Cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you need to upgrade Fair fighters, to tanks. get on. Fair factories, get on fighters. My fighters will block out the sun, eventually. New traits to be had. Is Gorilla Fighter exclusive with improvisation? Or can you have both? It doesn't look like it is. I don't know if I want to give these guys any of these traits. And the other thing I don't know about when I should do is like preferred tactics. Yeah. Like, do I have my. Um, I've never really paid any attention to tactics and what they do because it's always yeah. just been automated, basically. I think, like, so Blitz Breakthrough, I think, is is supposed to be one of the best. You do 25% more damage, they do 15% less damage. And what's Blitz? You do 15% more, they do 15% less. Yeah, I think I'm going to... 
put Blitz on my on my guy now that I've unlocked that. Requires skill five, oh, which doesn't quite have. Okay. I'm going to do a push to Nice from Dijon. Yeah, I'm basically pushing there as well. Good stuff. And yeah, I don't think we need to worry about the Albanian pocket much because we're just going to take actual Italy. Yeah, it's not really going anywhere. In fact, I, I can push it with just infantry here, actually. Ooh, supplies are not great. Where? France. But it's just this, this long sliver. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that's, that's an interesting sliver you have there. Oh. Bog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got the Fall of France event. I got the Fall of France event, so I guess that's now we own France. Okay. Nice. Good. Well, that works. Great success. I need to like <laughs> cancel my coastline now. Um, what a load of nonsense. God. Events. I don't like. It's, um, yeah, it's the exiled so. Wait, it's exiled Soviet troops in, in, in Britain. Like, yeah. They've obviously sailed from the Soviet Union. They were probably just about to launch a naval invasion of freaking uh, U <laughs> UK. Yeah, I know. Right, I need more garrison troops now. Uh, do I have any more garrison troops? Like, anywhere? The answer is not really. Oh, hang on. I forgot, of course. This gives us a whole new front line against uh, Italy. We need to make it take advantage of that immediately. Yeah. And they're, at, what, a normal puppet? Yeah. So it doesn't activate... Well, has it activated, like, their normal... No, so it hasn't activated their, like, special focus tree. And they're free Bourbon, France. Bourbon, Bourbon France. So, right. so they've got, they got generic. They have the generic tree because they're, they're not Vichy France. <laughs> it's really funny. Even though it said in the event in the event text that Vichy France is created. <laughs> Excellent. But strictly speaking, they're not Vichy France. So. No, you don't. No How reconnecting. I, I'm fighting divisions that are like stood on my territory. <laughs> yeah, it's weird when that happens. When they actually happen to be on your, like, standing in the same place as you, basically. Oh, yeah. God, I've turned on day-night cycle, I mistake. <clears throat> if I can seize the Italian fort line before they get a chance to react, that would be great. I have 7,000 trucks in stockpile. Is that, is that a joke? <laughs> no, I literally do have 7,000 trucks in stockpile. I have, uh, have 10,000. Not, not to flex, but... I've only, I've only had four factories on it. Yeah, they're not expensive. I have five. I'm actually going to reduce that. Three looks like it's going to be enough. <clears throat> Apparently, uh, like, full mechanized divisions are kind of crazy good now. Yeah. So I've heard. Well, I mean, good, because mechanized is always underpowered. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's so good, but... I believe what I have heard. Yeah, the Italian front is uh, looking promising, shall we say. Hmm. You should be able to clear some of them up. And yeah, heavy fighting, well, no, actually not that heavy fighting in the air. Alright, you guys can just activate your battlefield again. There's once there's no one opposing me on the uh, coast here. So oh, my supply fulfillment is struggling. Why? Uh, because probably just updating. Uh, short on trap, I uh, don't trains. understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just noise. Halt, 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 halt. Okay. 
Oh, Christ, you got a bit of a problem in. Go on. Front lines. It's just front lines backing out, so I haven't done the, done the wrong. Uh, uh, they're they, they're yeah. like, front lines on VC France rather than the correct France, and now uh, uh, they're yeah. just sort of escaping. Classic. Classic. Are you guys the latest? No. Let's, let's upgrade them then. We have the trucks. You guys can all get upgraded as well. Oh, no, do I have enough towed artillery? Mm -hmm. I was not expecting to run out of... Oh, I only have... Yeah, I have very few factories on towed artillery. That's... Trying to make a motorized infantry division? I mean... Yes. You're right. Time to full motorize the entire German army. <laughs> what could go wrong? What could go wrong? It just required like 20,000 trucks. <laughs> Here we got the fuel. Yeah, my fuel's good actually. I built quite a lot of synthetic refineries, so I'm pretty good. I have lots of railway repairs to do. Lots of railway repairs. In fact, Wait. I might go on to construction repair. The resistance target only goes up by 10% for 60 days when you have resistance contacts? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Surely not. Surely that means it starts in 60 days or something. Because that would be so bad. Uh, I don't honestly know. Uh, what was it? I had having in mind to put this research slot on and I can't remember what it was now. I think it's just that one. Let's infiltrate. I'm going to just infiltrate like the Soviet civilian military and air force. <laughs> just just get get my fingers in every Soviet pie, basically. Yeah. Just seems prudent. I've encircled them north of Venice. Switzerland's still sitting out of things. Console commands are different for tanks now. I mean, I didn't know that, but I assume they would be. But they're going to be more complicated now, aren't they? Because it's not. Yeah, if you do research all, you get the old tank text, just the same as uh, Navy and. Oh, yeah. In the previous one. Previous uh, similar overhaul. You guys okay on supply in the east? Yeah, more or less. Soviets are having an absolute slugfest in Iran. With yeah, not many men on each side. Terrible theatre to the fight in. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> so Leo Belg Belgicus. 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 How would you say it? Bel well, it's, surely it's Belgicus. Belgicus, yes, that sounds like right. Belgium. Yeah, all right. Yes. <laughs> Is uh, <laughs> looking a bit small compared to their previous... Uh, Previous holdings. Yeah, they've, they've been made to give to give the land to the right people. Oops, I'm gonna lose Turin again, I think. But they give yes, me Iraq. Land. I do want your two divisions of uh, expeditionary force, please. <laughs> this is very important. Will make to me. all the difference. It will. So your division template is what? What have you given me? It has six infantry battalions and four artillery battalions. Interesting. It's a. Uh, what do I see? The width. 20, 24 come up with division. And that's one of the worst, as I recall from the chart. Yes, yes. Reliability. Although, although, I mean, it might be better in like mountains or something, I don't know, because the chart was only concerned with hills, plains, forests. 82 soft attack, 168 defense. Max speed, 1 kilometer an hour. Nice. Was it path preset for the Soviets, or are they just really keen on ditching Stalin? On random, they're keen on ditching Stalin, because like four out of five of the possible options involve ditching Stalin. Yeah. We believe is the uh, cause of that one. Is that all one province? No, it's not. So go, yeah, go here. How many factories are you up to, total? Uh, two, three, four. So I would like to take uh, control of our Italian possessions, please. How many factories are you on? One ninety. Oh, okay, you're not that far behind, actually. No, 
No, it's uh, Romania has a fair number, and Turkey had some. Yeah, and you kneecapped my my precious Germany by making me do a civil war. You're outrageous! Precious. You got all of France. I do now. I've sent you the request. Du -du -du -du. Thank you, now thank I have you. 223 factories. And I have 205. We may divide Italy. We'll see right. how it goes once it's uh, once it's all right. said um, and done. <laughs> Artillery modernization will be useful. Um, adaptive design. What's this? Foreign motor companies no longer cost. Anti-tank minus 20%, that's pretty good. Does modern tank count as a medium tank? Do you reckon? If in terms uh, of design buffs? Yes. Mm. I would think so. That will be... Uh, that will be interesting. Although I already have a bonus on it, I think. Yeah, I already have about 100% bonus, actually, so... It won't make any difference, really. Yeah. Oh, you have some chromium I can buy. You're welcome. I think that's Turkish. Yeah. Turkey has fair amounts of chromium. Your uh, port manning in France is not great. It's 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 automatic. Cherbourg is ungarrisoned. I, I haven't got enough divisions on it. That's why. Ah. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, actually, they're probably ready now. There's 23 more divisions. Uh, you go and. Join that. Cool. And I have now I have fifty-three divisions on port defence. That should all fix itself. Cool. Oh, I got myself pocketed. Whoops. That's a rookie mistake. It's not going to matter. Tanks are absolutely massacring them. No, it is super cheap and super good and relatively cheap. Flame tank support companies. Yes, I I, I want to get a flame tank. Flame tanks do sound fun. How do you research flame tanks, chat? Give, probably... give me the give me the pathway and I'll do it. Is it one I of the flame tanks? Is it like one of the infantry attack division things? No. It's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be like a you make a flame tank and then use it as a support company, like a like a recon yeah recon company. France wants to give me wants to give me one gun a month. Nice. Yes, thank you, thank you, Bob in France. I appreciate your contribution to the to the war effort. We are approaching uh, Mediterranean Lake status. Getting very close, actually. Uh, we have to do a we have to do with Spain, right? He's well, I mean, they're not. Uh, we will, but they're not awarded right now. Yes, good, yeah, correct. Right, I might start. I'll start just like on Norway. Right, do I have any paratroopers? I have the I have the tech. Oh, I do have a paratrooper division. Right, add that in. Right, let's, let's, let's crank them out. Estonia is also uh, independent right now. Because as we know, chat, if you're going to invade Norway, you have to do it with good aesthetics, which means paratroopers. <laughs> One does not simply do a messy invasion of Norway. You have to have, to have, to have elegance. In the event the appeased nation invades, you'll be given the option to become a subject rather than fight. Estonia, you wimps. <laughs> you design a light tank with a flamethrower on it. How do I get a, fl how do I get a flamethrower? What tech's that? Is it one of the uh, like rocket techs or something? Hmm. Seems plausible. I need to get the jet engine so I can get gas turbines to get my tanks to go like 50 miles an hour. <laughs> which, I, which I've seen and looks hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound fun. Alright, what else do I need to do? Oh, I haven't done one in the workforce in total these, yet. Look at these noobs holding the national line. <laughs> They're doing their best. 
Oh, I, like how I, can, I like how I can take the decision to dispense with the Maginot line. Which is can you? Yeah. Does it actually apply to their forts? Uh, it just says Alsace Lorraine set land fort level 2. Should we, should we Sounds try like it? it would. Should we try it? Yeah, why not? No, it didn't work. Oh. oh I didn't even apply in your provinces. Oh, man, I don't know. Hang on. Maybe it's in 100, 100, 179 days it does it. Probably. F. Just I just right clicked on um, Palermo by, with a light tank because when I broke through north of Rome and it just it just kind of worked. <laughs> nice. I'm, uh, I'm rolling into Sicily now. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the Soviets. We've got to fight Spain at the same time. And we got to fight. But not Yugoslavia. No. That was my mistake when we first started. Spain allied? Yes, yeah, yeah, the yeah. same popular front block Spain faction. Spain and. Yeah, okay. Um, Latvia and most of East Africa, which is controlled by Spain. <clears throat> no. What do you mean, no? Oh, sorry. East Africa is controlled by Portugal. Iberian Socialist Union is oh, Portugal. Fuck, yeah. Not the People's Republic of Spain. <laughs> oh my god, it's like proper like. like uh, real communist hours. Monty Python. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, Japan. Uh, Japan is not actually in the common term, but they are communists. It's so like the might, uh... meme I saw the other day, where it's like, um, you, can, you like you can't defeat me, but like <laughs> slightly different leftists can. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's. They're still in Albania, by the way. Post surrendering, annoyingly. So get on that. I kind of feel like I should have several full armies assigned to the Soviets, just in case just like things go case. south. So I'm going to train another two infantry armies in order to uh, that seems fair. make myself feel a bit better. Do I need... I... Do I need to do rocket tech so I can, so I can get like... Katushas. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the, the hell let loose hours. Yeah, exactly. Do you think I need to, like, garrison Italy? Against what? The, like, naval invasions. Cause From who? Exactly. And Britain Britain can't cross the straits. Any, in neither direction. So, no. Yeah, ideally we would take out... Um... Oh, we actually have friendly supremacy in the Tyrrhenian. Okay, I will... Oh, do I have any naval invasion tech? No. Do you have naval invasion tech? I must have at least one naval invasion tech. You come take Corsica and Sardinia for me? I have... Alright, okay. Yes. Okay, I'll uh, I'll endeavour to, uh, to carry that out. Much obliged. What was I thinking about researching next? Yes, right. Medium tanks. I think I should definitely build strap bombers. Seems good to me. <laughs> Massive strap bombing campaign against the USSR. Seems fun. Yeah, let's go for it. I am inventing modern tanks. I need to invent strap bombers. Um... <laughs> this is going to be the most, like, if we get enough time, this is going to be a hilarity over a power attack on the Soviet Union. They are going to be, uh, yes. Hundreds of strap bombers in, like, modern tanks. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be... Uh... Hopelessly outgunned, yeah. What's the best infantry division build? Um, probably 15 wits. Uh, you put like a battalion of artillery in and then infantry. That would be my <laughs> recommendation at the moment. Um, I'm not going to go airland battle as I normally do because they're, we're not likely to have air superiority the whole time. So I'm going to go the other path. <clears throat> Yeah, you can invade. You can invade uh, through the Tyrrhenian, by the way, not through the uh, Western Med. And you should do it quick before the naval situation. Yeah, changes. all right, that's a yell, man. Because <laughs> the naval situation could change. Um. Okay, let me let me let me find some troops. I will invade from Italy. Yes. I'm selling eight divisions down right now. 
claiming I'm only at 65% logistic fulfillment, but I don't see how. I have plenty of stuff. Game, don't lie to me about such important things as logistics. How dare it. <coughs> how dare it. And we are uh, annihilating the Albanian pocket now that the tanks have rocked up and punched a hole. Good. 15 or 24? 24 is pretty bad, I think. Let me grab the Reddit. Um, 15 or 30, I think. Or smaller. So, the thing, one, one thing I did note was that smaller divisions like seem kind of better. Smaller divisions like, were always um, had some advantages. They have more more organization per per combat width if you have two smaller you, divisions. Yeah, but yeah, and you're going to get more flexibility. Oh no, 24 is, is sorry, 24 is one of the better ones. That's my bad. Um, is it? Yeah, 24 is as good as 30, which is as good as 40. And this is specifically just on Plains Hills Forest. But that, I mean, yeah, yeah, and that's just that's if that's if you're attacking with from two tiles. If you're defending, if you're like a defensive battle It'd again, that, maths, that yeah. same logic doesn't apply necessarily. Yeah. Um, although maybe it does if they're attacking you from multiple locations. Oh, nice! Like, I can get and yeah, two in forty-seven days. That's pretty nice. If you're defending, you're unlikely to feel combat with. Realistically speaking. Yeah. Because it's when you uh, it's when you start trying to you know concentrate force that combat with mostly becomes an issue. I think I'm just going to make two separate tank division templates: one light and one medium. Yeah. What have you been doing? Well, I, I, I've, I've had one that's mixed. So I, I've been it started right. off with light tanks, and I've been, I've been feeding medium tanks into it. But like, it just seems like they're too diff. They're, the roles are too different. Yes, I think that's, I think that's true. But I'm thinking about. I mean, maybe, maybe do you have like smaller light tank ones, and then a few big medium tanks, like to fight other tanks. Forty are still able to crush people just as well as before. Yeah, yeah forty is uh, so. In terms of attacking from two provinces, the average of plains, hills, and forest. 40%, you have 95% effectiveness. 95% of your divisions will be in combat. If you're at 15, you can get up to about 98. So it's not a huge difference between... Uh... But, they have, but they have made some changes to how 40, 40 wits fight to make... Yes, that's survival. true. So previously, uh, 40 wits increased the degree of targeting, basically, because all of your 40... Width's attacks would be going towards one enemy division, which would often be lower than 40, which gets overwhelmed. That's no longer the case. Now each individual attack is randomly targeted, as opposed to all going towards one target if it's coming from the same one. Uh, I've got enemy, I'm losing trains to bombing. <laughs> 42 with match coordination. 42 is actually much worse. It's like 10% worse. Yeah, what is the what's coordination again? <laughs> How does that percentage work in combination with the raw breakthrough and attack number? Well, the the theory is you're going to try and have enough attacking divisions to fill any specific combat width, and that table is how well you'll be able to do that. Basically, that's what it's showing. I think ahead of time logistics company seems. Oh, I should probably invent more austerity trains at some point. Iraq is also sending me two expeditionary divisions, <laughs> and they are also massive artillery divisions. I'll go and send them to defend a random French port. Concentrate your firepower into a single division rather than multiple. Ah, oh, so coordination is like. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Cruiser tank experiments. Hmm. I guess I might as well get an evil doctrine. Like none of this seems that important. How sure do you have four hundred plus soft attack on your tank divisions? What have you got in there? <laughs> it's thirty width. Yeah. It's got ten small tank divisions and five yeah. uh motorized infantry. And yeah. each each individual light tank, you know, thing adds thirty-three soft attack. 
You must have, you must have gone up to a higher soft attack value than me. Uh, my individual, like my actual, you know, tank thing, if you look at it, is 30 soft attack. I have a a secondary gun. I think that's the only thing that increases soft attack. Right, so what, what am I building currently? I'm building Panda. Yeah, I have a three man turret with a close support gun. Future YouTube series? Yes, this will be. I mean, there are there is already Hoi Dota back content. Oh, yeah, my my turret is already 25. Because you added you added a secondary turret. Correct. Correct. Okay. All right, I've actually got the more recent thing. Uh, do we finish that artillery research? I did. Yeah, in 103 days, I'll be getting the 1942 artillery gun. Get the heavy howitzer. And then they will. Oh, right, yeah, you're, oh, you're, ahead of you. you're ahead of you on that tank. Then they will know fear. Even if you can only fill 95% of the width instead of 98, if 140 width division you can fit into 40 has a breakthrough value far and way better than 3, 15 width divisions wouldn't this be, wouldn't this be superior? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I said that. Probably yes. Somewhat. Oh, but, God, um... I, made this my tank. <clears throat> I think on infantry... Your breakthrough very rarely exceeds their attack, and on tanks, it almost universally exceeds their attack. So I'm not sure if that's necessarily the right thing to worry about. Right, I've pushed to the bottom of the Egyptian railroad, so I'm going to stop there for a bit. Yes, I too am losing, losing trains. Time to get some interception fighters up. You should, I, should, I should mention, you know, I'm no expert in No Step Back by any means, so all of this stuff is just my current my current thinking. <clears throat> does Bourbon France get the fleet? France get what fleet? What does, does Bourbon France... Yeah, Bourbon France has a, a big fleet, like an aircraft carrier, 23 destroyers. Nice. Yeah, it should do. Yeah. Um, the difference... Here is the is ordinary Vichy France in the Axis? I thought it wasn't, like it has a special thing. It, yeah. Because there's the, there's there's the whole um event chain where you can try and seize control of the fleet. Grab Toulon, um, yeah. The uh, Germans. Okay, yeah, I don't think I need to garrison ports anymore. Which is obviously always a kind of famous last word situation, but I think I can delete this guy's orders and have him take up position on the Soviet front. Because the problem I've got now with my light tank is I'm I'm looking at it and it, and to get <clears throat> to, to to put the improved medium howitzer on, yeah, you have to have fixed superstructure. And I imagine that's going to be the case with a heavy howitzer as well. Uh, okay. Which mean which means you'll lose a bunch of breakthrough value. Right. Okay. So they become less good at pushing. Well, they get they take more damage pushing. If they're still yeah. able to beat the enemy, yeah, that's all that counts. Yeah, into spare light tanks yet? Oh Christ! Yeah, I have one thousand eight hundred spare light tanks all of a sudden. That's the hell? I've, I'm I'm one point two thousand lines in the hole. I was earlier, but damn, there is only three divisions, but still. Yeah, support equipment is now my bottleneck on training tank divisions. <laughs> The interestingly, switching to light to fix you have to increase your reliability by twenty percent. Mmm, it's pretty nice. Yeah, this tank has a reliability of one hundred and sixty-two percent. Nice. This tank does not break down. This tank has never heard of breakdowns. <laughs> I haven't got enough. I haven't got enough. Uh, this tank current design cannot be used in, in the light tank role. I've got to change the role to make it not light tank. Uh, how do I do that? I'll select. No. How do I change the? Oh yeah, I'm being blind. So I have to put it in the artillery role, and now it becomes advanced light SP artillery and not a light tank. Interesting. 
So, so like, so like, you have light tanks that have the soft attack gun, and then also you can add, I assume, specifically SPA battalions that have not even, are even more specialised in that role. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should maybe I should put black some of these in my medium tanks up divisions. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, good. Cipher for free France, just in time. <clears throat> I guess I will decrypt Spain's. Oh, I hadn't noticed. We're going to win the war in Africa by uh, the Soviets doing it for us, it looks like. Oh, bog. Yeah. God, you can add, you can add another 15% reliability with wet ammunition storage. Yes, I have that. So, I, so I've got a tank here that can go 16 kilometers an hour, has a reliability of 130. <laughs> percent That's pretty good. What's its uh, armor? And it's 32. It seems, it's light, it's, seems it's good. Light, it's light SPA, so. All right, I've infiltrated the Na Soviet air force. Let's strengthen the navy. I, mean, I, mean, I, I could, I could, I could put the gasoline engine on. To get it up to 20 kilometers an hour, <laughs> and I've still got 111% reliability. <laughs> that seems good. That seems really funny. And it's, it's, it's pointless at the moment, so I've got, I've got nothing that can go that fast that can accompany it. But um, True. Uh, you never can. Um, 12 is the cap, isn't it? Well, not, not if you've got mechanized upgraded to upgrade it, isn't. Are you sure? Yep. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm looking at the best mechanized max speed 12 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and then you upgrade it. Oh, can you do that? I thought mechanized yeah. was like. No, was... you could go to mechanize and you click create variant and you. I didn't know you could make up, variants up, of mechanized. I didn't yeah. know you could make mechanized. That's cool. <clears throat> I'm going to start building some of, these, some of these stupid SPA tanks. I guess I will garrison a couple of ports in Europe, just in case of surprise Allied I have invasion. So many, I have so many interesting things to build. <laughs> Honestly, get on. Um, forget building. More taking Corsica and Sardinia. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Tito handed over his troops. So I'm going to use those to do some garrison. Big up, Tito. All right, what else do I need for these new tanks? Advanced engines. Yes, yeah, so it's basically just about like modernizing our uh, our armies and then using them to roll over the Soviets, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 I need to start building strap bombers as well. I have two. I have. I don't have enough factories. This is outrageous. How many are you um, up to now? Uh, 111 mils. Okay. I need more. I need I more. Enough. Yeah, I have two more than you. Okay, now I can start building four at a time. Now, oh crap, my consumer goods. Money. Shot up. Right, I can deal with that though. Total mob time. And then quick. Give me women in the workforce. Da, 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 da. What is this? The world defensive plan. Oh, cool. So for 50 political power, I can get. 60 day bonuses of 20% defense, 10% 10, 10 attack, 15% breakthrough in a particular state against Russia specifically. That's interesting. Seems a little unnecessary right now. You got any support equipment spare, by the way? Uh, oh, 700 or so. Sorry, I don't need it. Never mind. I, I, I have a nine day deficit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was just coming out of the hole. 
Right. Right. Strat bombers. Top priority. I am trying I'm to gonna... strengthen the Polish resistance against the Soviets. Oh, I'm still building like 1936 guns. <laughs> Excellent. I have not researched 1939 oh guns. But I, I am 60 days away from finishing atomic research, though, so what really matters. Nice. Uh, okay, I, I need no. I haven't got any no supremacy on facade, did you? Unfortunately, actually, I can do the top port. I told you. You need well, to do it. No, no, yeah, yeah, because we, there we, was supremacy then. We never had it in the Western, man. We, I told you this. Actually, we do have it now. It's fine. <sighs> Attack. Oh, it's this guy. What? Well, I can get land infantry equipment production cost down 5%. That seems good. You still haven't taken the freaking machine. <laughs> I'm, they're just chilling out. Oh, Christ. Spain is uh, falling to Britain. Which one? What? Which Spain? There's only one Spain. <laughs> oh my God. I know I know only the Iberian Socialist Union. <laughs> People of Spain, it's Iberian funny. Socialist Union. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's so funny. I rate it. I am right, garrisoning. Alright, Corsica is mine! Huzzah! Good. So I didn't there are basically next. no Italian troops anywhere here. <clears throat> oh, I can't cross the strait though. You don't? Hmm. No, can't move through straits blocked by enemy fleets. My, my guys are going to be stranded there forever. Outrageous. Oh, I'm really looking forward to my modern tank divisions. <laughs> it's going to be great. Hmm. Alright, what should I do now? I could try making a better light tank. I mean, it is. I do have an. I mean, I'm still going to keep using light tanks even once the moderns are invented, probably. Oh, his flamethrowers. Way less soft attack. But. Alright, I can decommission these. Norway Wait, joined Norway, the Allies. What? I didn't even invade you! <laughs> My paratroopers aren't even ready yet. So they can go on their minus eight transport planes. <laughs> I have enough. How do you duplicate? Or does it just automatically duplicate when you change a design on a tank? Like, give it a flamethrower. And make that the only difference. Nope. It did decommission my old one. Bollocks. Where are my railway guns? One, one? I've, only got one, I've only got one railway Oops. gun. Yeah. I swear I had, I swear I had two. Oh, there, there it is. No, I found it. This is the main 39 in any infantry tank. Alright, you. The most the railway gun makes when you select it is very cute. And I like it. Oh yeah? yeah it makes a little makes a little toot toot noise. It's good. <laughs> How does the support flamethrower thing work? I don't seem to be able to do it. <clears throat> oh crap, I'm using the wrong garrison template. No! This whole time. Alright, I've got two strat bombers made. I've I upgraded their nice. range. <laughs> So these, to Moscow these got, with a, with an atomic bomb. Yes, yeah, so they've got 250 kilometers more range than they started with, and uh, a bit more bit more bombing capability. I was looking at support companies, but I don't seem to have support flamethrower tanks. Do I have to actually have built one? Maybe. Is that the problem here? <clears throat> now building one flamethrower tank a month. <clears throat> right, mechanized infantry, that'll give me a... I'll still pop a matter. So mechanized infantry only actually <clears throat> requires how much per battalion? Not a lot. It's like... Uh, 40. 
Hmm. I have one. I have two thousand in stockpile. I think. I think I should just go full full on mechanized infantry now in my tank divisions. I should probably invent mechanized at some point. Glorious mechanized. Praise be. I need to reduce my my of trucks then. If I'm not even using divisions, then I, I don't even need them. Fix light superstructure. So how do I how do I make how do I make a variant? Do I just have to change the name? V two, and then I change this to lit fix light, and I change this to oh, it's the wrong one. And I say V two, and I need light fixed. <clears throat> Yes, that lowers breakthrough by a ton. But. It's actually I mean, better this, piercing. This is your well. heavy howitzer. This is the medium howitzer. I'm just taking a look early. This tank design cannot be used in the light tank role. Yeah, you have to put, you have to mark it as artillery. And then, and then you have to oh. produce an SBA and put SBA battalions in your divisions. Oh. Hmm, that's interesting. And the SBA battalions are three combat width. Tank battalion division tap okay. ones are two. So there's a there's an so unless you get a fifty percent soft attack bonus, it's not worth it. No, I don't think so because, for example, to do it if you do it with the medium one you're looking at now, it's thirty six soft attack. And if you're if you're yeah. already at thirty. With not the tank, it. it's, it's not it's not going to be worth the extra thirty three percent combat width. I can get it to fifty, but that's still well fifty versus it's not thirty three percent more combat width. It's fifty percent more combat width. True, you're right. It is. So that seems pretty bad, to be honest. Is there yeah, is there is there, a, is, there a, is there a new gun you can put in your light tank? Yes. Sorry, say that again. I was uh, distracted by my wife. Is there a new is there a new gun you can put in your Light tank design. I from sorry, that tank. One second. <laughs> it's outrageous, chat. Uh, I'm not certain. I will check once I have got through this invention. All right, there's the better tanks. I know, it's in, you know, it only enables the heavy howitzer. Yeah. Hang on, it's 42 now. Should I be doing? No, okay. Let's have a look here. First off, no more civilian trains for me. It's time right. for the War Authority train. Our troopers. Um... Alright. Oh, uh, I can't take Corsica if you Sardinia if you lack of neighbor's priority. F. <laughs> freaking freaking Polish resistance not going anywhere. Polish resistance? Yeah. Why have you got Polish resistance? Against the Soviets. Ah, yes. I'm going to prepare a collaboration government in the Soviet Union. Oh, I wonder, can my, can my railway guns reach Norway from Denmark? <laughs> no. I re yes, I reckon, that, I reckon they will. No. Yes, I, think, I, reckon they'll, I reckon they'll hit one or two provinces. They might. You would you would love to see it. Right, where is my one... Where is student? Oh, he's, there he is. Right, he's my primary people guy. Uh, I need my transport plane to be over here. Fortunately, I don't have any transport planes. Where are they? This is where I would put my transport planes. No, no, I have 45 transport planes. I have 45, it's fine. Have 45, it's fine. Good stuff. It's just five of them got shot down, so it's showing it's negative five. Right, we're going to use paratroopers. Oh, when, they, when the planes arrive, which is now. It's annoying that you can't make paratroop orders without the plane after plane. Like physically being there, right, right there and then. Yes, I concur. Unread naval battle results. Oh, nice. Sunk a couple of Norwegian convoys. You're welcome. Thanks. Doing it all for you. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
Right, so I'm trying <laughs> to drop my paratroopers to cut the uh, railway lines to Oslo. This is next level play. Good and stuff. So we'll just like drop someone like there. Right now, I need to get an army to do like, naval invasions. Uh, we'll just steal some from my port defenders. That's fine. Actually, no, we don't need to. Yes, we do. I'm upgrading some of your railways on the front line with the Soviets, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure. I'm also oh, going to do nice. some improved worker conditions in the short term. Because I think that seems... Fun. Yeah. I thought about that, but then I didn't. I'm down to 70% stability. Yeah, I'm in 76 so this is the main thing we've been using what have I been using <laughs> close support gun yes there's no upgraded close support gun annoyingly so hmm. this is this is the SPAA variant so we're trying to use the Where's my new howitzer? Am I crazy? Where's my where's my forty? Is it is, is it it being um like heavy heavy guns? Isn't it? Heavy guns does not show up. Maybe it can't be made on a light tank chassis. Oh, no, they don't, they, they don't reach to Norway, unfortunately. But only by one tile, and they would possibly reach reach Sweden. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> Big F. I'm pretty sure I can't use a heavy howitzer on this tank. Sadly. That is annoying. Yes. Well, in that case, just give me even more like, speedy boy. We need less armor and even more engine. Well, hang on, I only need 12 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Let me touch my engine then. I think 95... 95.7% reliability seems... Seems okay. And then do I want to keep this gasoline engine? So actually, if I switch to a... How about I switch to a diesel engine, but then... Crank the speed. Yep, that actually works better. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I that's what I worked out last time. Yeah. It's better to have the reliability. Um Seems good. Oh man, these air bases are not are not great. It's gonna really slow my production of light tanks, but just it should see if I may want to make any other adjustments before I do it. You may better invent better tanks, uh, virtually better radio as well for better breakthrough. Yeah, this will this will do for now. Oh, it's not too bad of a hit actually. I'm down sixteen thousand infantry equipment. Oh, I left these on infinite. Okay, and that'll be why. Right. Um. Planes. Right. And what on earth? Why won't you? Why won't you launch? What's going on? We require nearly seven seat in eastern North Sea. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! 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 fuck. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Oh, the guys are landing there. Just gonna very slyly get near with Premacy and Eastern North Sea very briefly. Good luck. Just long enough to launch the invasion and definitely not get caught by the British. You do not have enough. Well, you do just. Oh my god, supply is not good. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, it's fine now. Did you just send over air supply? I just, sent, I just put my, my air supply on. Holy Christ. 38. It's so overpowered. What in hell? <laughs> That is broken as all hell. Glorious air supply. Mm. Now you can supply all your Stalingrads. 
That is kind of insane. Uh, that's only 50 uh, transport planes. The button next to research, to reset is make new design. Save as new. All right, thank you, appreciate it. Flamethrower yeah, tank, flamethrower main trees, gun yeah. on a tank. Light is fine. Click the tab under the tank's name and change it to flame support. Ah. There we go. Cool. They don't seem that good though. Why can't I see? A, I can't see like a like a, a battle indicator in Nozzle. Um, that's weird. No, neither can I. Oh, it's because it's off. It's out at sea because of your naval invasion. Ah, uh, of course. All right, we need we need one. Thank you for walking out of Stavanger. Oh no no naval battle. Did they all get in? No, not quite. Oof, I have quite the sneeze today. How is my compliance going down here? Up to about 40% in Romania. It's not terrible. Not great, not terrible. Not great, not terrible. He said it. God, I'm really... No, no. What did I do? Okay, that's no, fine. Whew. I thought I'd done something catastrophic. catastrophic. <laughs> How compliant is Hungary? 50%? I guess I'm going to have to start building mills in like 50% compliant land, which is not, uh, it's not ideal. Not ideal. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm able to add... Let's see what that would do to my armor division. Oh god, I need to get my ships into port. They're getting attacked by like <laughs> five different enemy fleets. <laughs> Come on, get back. Let's, let's get off now and make support now. I guess I don't Go really, home. I don't strictly need a I mean, I didn't even lose any ships. This is this is, this is incredible scenes. Mm, nice. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Sorry. All right, we're doing all right. My trains are going to logistics. Bottom, the flamethrowers are okay, but they're not that good. I can get another twenty soft attack. Yes, but are they flamethrowers? They are, but that's not very good. If no, then get flamethrowers. Mm. I think instead what I'm going to do is take my... Uh, which one is? This one. And then make a AA variant. <clears throat> with light fixed superstructure and a improved anti-air gun. There it is. Oh god, the air supply is completely overpowered. I, I, can't, I cannot believe how overpowered this is. <laughs> it does seem a little wild. Am I inventing better AA guns right now? No, not for a while. Like it's, like it's just not, it's just like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> just fully supplies in the whole region. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even convinced it relies on air bases either. Add a module that allows it to be anti air first. I thought I had done that. Did I have to not have that? Why can't this be AA? <clears throat> the lights are perfect for AA guns. They have top tier AA guns on a light chassis. Flamethrowers are better for infantry divisions. Oh, that makes sense. Why can't I set this guy as AA? Add a module that allows the anti-air roll. Surely you would think the improved anti-air gun would be one such module. Does you would work, think that. Does it work with the basic anti-air gun? No. The bonus modifiers. Mm, good tip, good tip. Let me have a look. No, oh, it's hard for me to see. Okay, here it is. You get 25% extra attack against forts. 10% over rivers, 15% in forests, 20% in urban, 20% jungle, jungle, 5% hills. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm I'm sold. Duplicate this. We are upgrading to the flaming tanks. Big up flame flame tanks. And then they get instead of Maintenance company, they get light flame tank companies. 
So what tech was it that gave you flame tanks? You have to design a flame tank. But how? How, how do you get the component? So, you, do you see it on my screen now? Oh, you don't have the the option of flamethrowers. Well, I, I, I don't know. I haven't looked. <clears throat> Check. And if you can't have a fixed turret as an AA gun and have it count as an AA roll. So what, what does count as an AA gun then? Like if I go three man turret, improved AA. Oh. Okay, I literally have no more focuses to do. <clears throat> nice. I guess we're doing oh air production or construction engineering. Well, why would you ever use a light fixed infrastructure then? Oh, forbids the AA roll. Okay, <clears throat> just a little little quick bit of UI design here. If something forbids the AA roll, don't have that be the only one with the logo of the AA icon on it. <laughs> 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 and if you're gonna do that, cross it out. <laughs> That's just my hot tip. All right, this is now an AA gun. <clears throat> Needs way right, less I am engine. researching um, the the rocket engines tech. Engineer comp company two is for flamethrowers on tanks. I'm being told. <clears throat> okay. Might as well throw this on as well. I, this is this is like very silly. I, I'm not even like close to the freaking like supply limit. It is very funny that. Well, I've got tanks just like cruising through mountainous areas. It's not, it's not even a problem. <laughs> oh, and light self propelled air is still two width, by the way. Light self propelled anti air? Yeah. Oh, right, that's interesting. Does that, does, does that come with considerable soft attack? No, less. Not not about half oh, as much half, per type, per thing. Half as half as much, but you get pretty good at air attack. One one unit of it is giving me the same amount of air air attack as the support company, which frees up the support company to go back to being. I mean, that could let the support attack actually that could let the support company be support artillery, which gives more soft attack than I lost. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Do naval invasion to Narvik will end Norway faster. I mean, yes, but I would expect the British to, the British to intercept that. Yeah, it's not like but they would uh, think they'd again. try to break out into the uh, Atlantic and divert all their ships. Yeah, let's just go full meme. Let's just get... Oh, no, no. Oops. Okay, no. Sorry. Get these two divisions to just, like, launch a naval invasion from, like, Wilhelmshaven to Narvik, and they definitely won't notice. And I swore somehow... Oh, my fleet's getting... What? How are they... How is the US Asiatic fleet in the Baltic? Or like showing up as being in the Baltic? Has completed local eastern plans. Oh, I have to be at war with the USSR to fire those. Okay. No, 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 no. Get back and port, back and port, back and port. Okay. I really do not have many focuses that I can do that are useful now. Oh, I have a lot of submarines. Just like sat in port. No, I, I've run out of focus. I, I have no more yeah. focuses. I'm just I'm on air production now. Yeah, one which of those I could do. I could do faction research. That might help. You get some uh, bonuses. Yes, stuff. that would be that would be good actually. It makes sense that a fixed turret wouldn't function very well shooting down aircraft. You know what? That's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> Got to rotate the whole tank. <laughs> In my defense, it has the AA logo on it. That's a fun <laughs> that's funny. That's a good point. Supply completed it, mate. <laughs> I guess yes. I'm gonna have to build in uh, build in Hungary now, since I've run out of uh, run out of places to build mills elsewhere. Hungary is my most compliant region, I think. Air supply is definitely this patch's uh, <clears throat> hilariously unbroken yeah. broken mechanic. It does seem that way. 
following a long and distinguished line of new DLCs having one mm. mechanic that's really overpowered. Oh, nice. Look, the Iberian Socialist Union. Am I doing light tanks or heavy tanks? Uh, light tanks and medium tanks at the moment. Although they're, a although they're really light SPA. Take a look at the Iberian Socialist Union. It's, oh, they've done it. It's actually unified. They've unified. They only they went can... and, and bloomin' did it. So they can fight their mortal enemies, the British Raj and the UK. Good job, Iberian Socialist Union. So this is now Portugal. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> Portugal was occupied by the British, and now it's all Portugal. So I'm a bit confused. All right, let's launch this really stupid naval invasion. Uh, go! You can do it. My two divisions under Maximilian von Vikes. Do I have to... Can you fire these guys? Because I should actually have enough command power to do this. Ah, I know. Really. Turn off this more ground cruise. I should deploy some naval bombers up here. There we go. I bet I have a bunch of fighters. Yes, I do. Good. <clears throat> but, I mean, to be honest, this, this invasion in Narvik is kind of not necessary because the Norway is already like boned. Got a lot of bombers over the Benelux, sir. Huh? Entrenchment is overpowered at the moment, especially for the Soviets. All oh, right. Is it entrenchment being overpowered, or is it just that people people's attacks are weaker because of supply? Oh, what's this? The Latvian's People Republic is justifying against us. We have how dare they? We have seventy-five days. It's alright. I have like two spare armies just rocking about in Europe. <clears throat> I have four armies on the Soviet front right now. Oh, but I already have an army on the Latvian border. I didn't. I did that I forgot about. Yeah, can Who you take guys? the Baltics uh, easily? The Soviets are rushing then towards our front. Okay, so we're we getting up for like the full on. It looks like it. All right, okay. Not I'm not ready. I, I haven't tanks. got a thousand strap bombers yet. Yeah. Goddamn Soviets. Telling all the time. Latvians even. Oh, for. F f okay, Latvians so people have like declared war on Finland. Okay. That means Finland's going to be at war with me, which means that... They'll be at war with the Soviets. For God's sake. I'm a border against them now. It so where, okay, so where, so where are you on tree? Are you, what part of the front do you want me to take on the eastern front? You should take your border bit, and then north. And your front My... will rapidly extend. Like you should right. take from, from you know, Königsberg. Yeah, okay. Let oh, me my name invasion, my invasion is, is, is failing. They <laughs> sailed all the way to Narvik, and they're not succeeding. F. Big F. I'm going to launch the traditional... Yeah, I need to um, mop up this Norway campaign now. The traditional attack. Hey, new tanks just in time. Right, railway guns to your full positions. Uh, which will be like over here. Um, my remaining tanks should go to the eastern front. And get ready to surge north. Mm -hmm. Normally I can, I can only set my offensive line up against Latvia. Uh, what are Estonia up to? Nothing. I will just justify on Estonia. Yeah, Estonia's just chilling. Just chilling out. No, just, just hanging out, you know, how dogs is and all that. I'm not quite sure what the Brits are doing. I've just sailed my entire fleet like up <laughs> and down the northern coast and I haven't noticed. <laughs> historical accuracy. My, it's my historical accuracy <laughs> is, is real in this game. Jack, never never have it said that Hoy isn't a historically accurate <laughs> game. Oh, crap. We're suffering in the... Uh... Oh crap, of course we are. There's no bloody railway connection to it. Railways are 
scrub, mate. Just get airplanes. <laughs> I am beginning to get that impression. <laughs> the state of my Norwegian supply. I'm mean, like in mountains, <laughs> miles away from my railway lines. But look, these plenty. guys on the west coast Holy of Norway crap. are like seven, eight tiles from the from the every. Supply and it doesn't. It's literally making north or each each. One of those provinces has 44.6 supply. That's more than it's possible to provide in my capital. <laughs> I like, have by, by a factor of two. Air supply. That is that is moronic. This is why Germany's war lost. Just build transport planes, five head. Yeah, honestly. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Using the railways. It's rookie. I, I, I can just like deploy my tanks in this hideously bad front in the north and push to Narvik and it'll be absolutely fine. Until they until they cross out the air zone. Are your men coming? Where? To the front that I gave you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you I've got, well, got, got to finish freaking... I've got to finish the freaking... No, we can stop. you got a bunch of men just hanging around in Berlin. Yeah, they're, they're on vacation. Oh, yeah, we I'm should definitely there. ban no transport planes against the Soviets. You what, mate? No transport planes against the Soviets. That's my entire strategy. No. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine. No transport planes against the Soviets. Why? Why does the way you said that not fill me with confidence? No, no, I won't. I won't use them. Much. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of fuel. It's not good. Import Poland. some. Remind me of more. Remind me of more oil. Yeah. I'm exporting 60 oil, so you should be also, able to get Also, I'm currently importing oil, uh, rubber from the Dutch East Indies, and I'm not getting combo raided. <laughs> nice. We're going to have a problem with um, Tungsten, by the way. You need to take out Sweden. <laughs> what about Portugal? Oh, of course, we're going to be at war with them. Yeah. All right, okay, fine. We can, when we can import uh, from Korea. But... I'm justifying on Sweden. 200 days. Good stuff. Fall of Manila. Ooh. It's like Japan making some moves. They've also managed to take Macau. Oh no, Macau's in the... Uh, of course, it's Portuguese no. still. Look at these plebeian Norwegians having supply issues. <laughs> in their own freaking home territory. They have not yet seen the light of 50 transport planes. God, it's so broken. It's so broken. I need to put an air base though so I can continue this. I have lots of lots of railways railways to fix. This this army is going to be my firefighters going going where needed. I don't know what's going to happen to my supply as soon as it, I uh, like take one step into the Soviets. I feel like I might start having issues. <laughs> So what do I need here? Light SBA hasn't started yet. Right. I really should be able to handle it, manage with 10, 10 factories on support equipment, you would think. You would think. All right, there's better extraction tech. Um, I should probably be trying out motorized, but I don't know. It's, I have to do three techs before it, I can actually get back to the same speed again, which just feels very unrewarding. I think logistics company seems like a smart move. Yeah, I think I have them. Do By I the way, uh, because of yes. our non-aggression pact, I'm pretty sure the Latvians will not be able to declare this war. That's good. More time to prepare. Logistics, uh, signal, and I kind of want to do armored recon, but that would probably murder my tank supply. Yeah, it could be, it could be minus 3,000 tanks. <laughs> we can't do that. What Support my... rocket artillery, though. That's the real strat. But I can't, I haven't got any. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, really hurting for um, support slots. Yeah. Because you want your logistics, you want your engineers for the bonuses. You need recon. Should my recon be armored, by the way? Does that make much difference? Oh, Christ, it actually does make a big soft attack difference. Although I move slower oh in planes. Oh my good lord, I have an 8,000 support equipment deficit. 
Holy <laughs> shit. That's pretty bad. I did not realise how bad that had got. Okay, less reconnaissance from this, but... Yeah, I'm definitely switching to that. Oh, bad supply. Right, still down here. How's that railway coming? Jesus, it's taking ages. Alright. Half of you guys fall back to uh, Aleppo. That's Aleppo, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I just I did a nap with the Spanish. It doesn't matter. This is the, uh, it only really matters with the leader. Right, so I've got to find some factories somewhere to... Oh, God, I've got so many railways to repair. It's a joke. There goes Norway. Uh, finally. Repairs, you don't have to spend factories on. It's just not really, not really a problem. Yeah. I have quite a lot of resistance to me. They are, they are displeased. Not happy about the whole uh, pellet occupation thing. No, Turkey's a little peeved. Understandable. Yeah. Right, so this army will remain up here to fight Sweden on its stupidly long front line. Not that that matters for me. <laughs> no, you should stop using plans. Because it just, it just like deletes the fuck the purpose of <laughs> it. The, it, the, it deletes the entire supply system. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna <laughs> stop using them. Right, where's my paratroopers? They can be useful. Free naval dockyards. I huh? should pull my tanks off the front line because they're going to eat a supply. More, more convoys. And then when you're done with that, get me more convoys. Forever. Where the hell have my bound troopers gone? There they are. God, the, the, the feedback you get on... Oh, no. Hang on. It says finished, but that's bad, right? I think my collaboration government didn't work. Oh no, that's really bad. Hmm. Oh, logistics bombing. Would you quit it, allies? I need to get I need to get full like collaboration government set up before we invade the uh, the Soviets. Who else I need to decrypt? Oh hey, take a look. Look at Iran. Soviet Iran. Soviet Iran. With um, somebody in charge. They are who a knows, collaboration uh, government. Who, who knows who's in charge over there? <laughs> we don't. They're making slow progress towards... Uh, well, they have a bunch of tank divisions here. Let's see. What are they using? Pretty standard. Check collaborations from occupation. Ah, yes, that's true. How are they collaborating? Should I be making collaboration governments? You need uh, you need a lot for that, right? You need it all the way up to 80. Yeah. Fucking Brits, man. Get out of Narvik! <laughs> I guess I might as well keep doing these factory ones, although maybe I should do resistance suppression. Well, wait, let's check out faction research, see if you guys have got anything interesting. Oh, no, right, I go collaborations? Ah, here we are. Stop. Thank you. Collaborate and listen. Yes, so it did. my mission did work. I'm up to 30% collaboration in the Soviet Union. Nice. I should get some radio detection buffs from that tech. Estonia and Sweden, neither of which have been guaranteed yet. England's losing hope of it. <clears throat> yeah, there are mods to add more. Sport company. Room. No, I've got to move my transport planes. They've got to do and do actual power dropping. This is horrendous. Uh, where's my other planes? Am I being bombed? I am being bombed. Are you? Get, get out of here. I'm being bombed in France. I'm being bombed in <laughs> Poland. <laughs> Get out of here. A few enterprising uh, Soviet bombers. 
Still no enemy bombers disrupted showing up. Right, Sweden. How can I kill Sweden quickly? Naval invasions? Yeah. Let me do some naval invasions. Why are you here? Why do I have like 15 airborne divisions now? Zanga is... Adam is the German Empire. Glorious German Empire. I'm just relishing in my glorious flaming tank vision. I'm almost up to 500 soft attack, by the way. Are you? Mm -hmm. That's good. I am. Um, I'm a bit. I'm a bit, a bit behind. I've only just done some of the some of the later techs. Is that, is that so? Is that still just all light tanks, or mm -hmm. is it with SPA? Light tank. I mean, the, my light tanks are effectively SPA, but they're not. Li they're not technically SPA. Yeah. So is that light tank threes or now modern tanks? No, it's light tank threes still. Right. Okay. You you wait till I what I do with modern tanks. So they so they've got the improved. No, they've still got close support guns. <laughs> oh, really? How, how much soft attack per tank? It's still just 30. It's just that I've got the flamethrower tanks helping them out, and also recon tanks, and also... Right, and flamethrower tanks is engineers 2, which yeah. I do not have yet. Okay, that's why. It... So I had to grab that at some point. I briefly had a support supply issue there. Oh, yes, here. Supply that's issues. <laughs> you freaking... <laughs> I'm not, too, I'm, not, I'm not even using them currently because they're, they're for the best of power drop. <laughs> but it is funny how I just be like, supply system? Nah, they completed it. <laughs> oh shit, they did declare war. Look at, look at, oh wait, what, on us? Yeah, Who? Latvian People's Republic. Latvia. Get them. Oh fuck. They're going to call them in. No, I'm, I'm not a war. Oh, hang on, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to call me in again, Latvia. They, declare, they just declared on me. Yeah, they're like, fuck this guy in particular. <laughs> That's really weird. We want, we, want, we want to fight a war on the tiniest front line in the world. <laughs> it's literally one province. All right, I'm bringing my tanks up. I have called you in. I'm going to accept in uh, right now. Oh, hello, Latvia. Feel the wrath of my infantry divisions. And soon my tanks. But not yet. Not here. Have massive aerial support. If you could capitulate them before the Soviets declared on us, that would be extremely good. Well, I'm gonna try. Happily, they're leaving promises open for me to try to just drive into. Hurry, it's hurry! It would be really good if no, we could avoid. Going as far as I can. My tanks had to be brought up from their uh, staging areas behind the front. I've got truly massive. The Soviet troops like trying to defend Riga, but they're not in the war with me. <laughs> Quick, come on! Quick. Drive! They can indefinitely accept call to arms through things, but they probably have like that huge modifier for like dangerous front, which means they can't accept until they actually put men on this front because they have no one on most tiles bordering me. I'm taking Riga. Uh people being called in as allies. Sorry, yeah, it was me. Iraq. It seemed important. <laughs> the important nations are in now. This is interesting. It's, it took 25 levels of train to build this. So why is it doing it? Like it looks like it's doing it one tile at a time, but I guess it has actually already built it to here. It just doesn't show up on the map until it's all built. Should have that on really soon. Come on. What are they on? Come on. I'll have a look. You keep paying attention. Hey. Yes. But hang on. Yeah. Didn't they call someone else in? Not Russia. Spain. 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 Uh, quick, random army that's been sat in Germany for the last two years. Go and <laughs> go and do a front against Spain. I have no troops there. France, please hold. So Spain can call in uh, the Soviets. All right, okay, we better we better sort that out then. Right, if my, my Estonia war is ready in like two months. We're running, out of We're running out of fuel again. You have, um, okay, I can get, I can get a bit more from you. Five, six, seven. Ah, seven, eight. Logistics raids. Ten. Okay, should be fixed now. Yes. You guys, massive fighting there. Let's bring a couple of fighters down here. 
Send a couple of these. I need to sort my, my armies out. This is, they're all a complete mess. Right, so you... Spain you really did not capitalise on that. to here. Ah, oh, because Bourbon France is not at war with Spain. That's why that didn't cause a problem. Call in, call in Bourbon France as soon as you can. And I will push. once I've got troops No, no, there. like, I am in there right now. Go, go, oh, go. Oh, you're there now. Go, okay. go, 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 go. Because they're not garrisoning their border forts right now. Forwards, I'm turning a, turning a battle plan on. No, don't. <laughs> Anything but that. No, don't. Stop. No. <laughs> This except an ironic. Again, again, there's like Soviet divisions here that I'm not at war with. If we could, if we could capitulate these guys before the Soviets get called in again, my, my, be... my tanks aren't down here, unfortunately, for for speed. But are yours here? No. No, but you should bring yours over. But they're, they're, they're in fucking Latvia, my man. Yeah, well, get them over here. We've got time. Well, the well, Soviets... what, if Russia, what if Russia joins the war? Then we'll crush them anyway. We, we've got time because the Soviets have to get rid of their. Um... All right, all right, all right, all right. Fucking hell. The Soviets I'll put, won't... One, I'll put, one, I'll put my transport planes. Bring them over. The Soviets won't be able to accept the call until they have felt like they've garrisoned the front enough, basically, I think. You still haven't got any men on the Soviet front, by the way. I have. What are you talking about? You're responsible for your what? section of the front. What? Which starts at Collingsburg. Oh, for fuck's sake. What, what, you, you got troops there. They're moving. Well, they are now. I thought you went just a bit from Latvia. Why would you be responsible for like 5% of the front? I don't know! <laughs> you said. Right, okay, I actually haven't got enough troops for that right now. What are you talking about? You haven't got enough troops for that? I've got, I've got troops in Spain! Alright, fine. I will go up to the river east of Riga. Fog. I'm also a VP Russian Spain in the hope that we can kick him out because I want to use light tanks. not great over here. <clears throat> I need the supply hub, I think. So we're going to go on to a supply hub there. Where's it gone? Oh, God, there's so many railways. <laughs> there's so many railways you need it's repairing. A a, it's a bit of a mess, yeah. Alright, is the railway reached yet? Still no. Right, construction repair. How goes the operation? Collaboration government still preparing. Just needs a few more days. Of some civilian factory work. Let's do concentrated mm, fire. I can't believe Estonia is garnishing his border against me. This is outrageous. It's very naughty behaviour. <clears throat> right, export equipment. I need way more of it. <laughs> you know that I've got 28 factories on strap of us. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> and no chat, I'm not going to take any action to change that. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a problem to me. Just like the historical German government, we're going to have completely fucking mental production priorities. <laughs> <laughs> we're just in it for the for the historical accuracy. Yes, though. we do need this rocket fighter. It's vitally important. Vitally important. In fact, I can build that soon. Nice. I'm doing the tech that allows me to build the comet. I am looking forward to uh, trying out Black Ice on this patch. Presumably they haven't oh, yeah. yet, chat. I wonder if it still has the whole thing where it's like, here's a focus to make this particular SS division. <laughs> they actually so got rid of those. We have very detailed, we have not very detailed because reasons. Yes, don't pay any attention to the ridiculous attention to SS accuracy that makes me very uncomfortable. They have removed most of those, I think. Oh, that's good. Right, guns two. The Soviets are deploying such a pathetically small number of units to each of our borders. It's quite embarrassing. We've got one tar unit on most of these guys. The last Black Ice campaign was amazing. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. I enjoyed it too. I took some persuading to do it. Where did that supply have? Okay, I thought I queued up. You're trying to build a supply hub? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the decision. On get to lab in Latvia. Oh, in Latvia, okay. I was going to say, like, France, Spain does not need that. There is already one. Uh, yeah, true, there is. But you might want one in the north. Great, great German conquest of Spain here that I'm doing all the work for. Excuse 100%. me? <laughs> <laughs> they, ain't never, they ain't never seen Blitzkrieg like this. Anyway, it's uh, 942 that I'm just now doing Engineer Company 2. Excellent. 
having having just now done 939 guns. As you can see, my research priorities have been have been very uh, yes. very on point. I could still do with help. In fact, I've like, done is... like loads of rocket research and and it's, it's, tonic it's bomb research. Just historical accuracy, man. Yeah. Right, my two soundtrack. railway guns in position. Have I got a third railway gun yet? No, not until May next year. All right, I have all the manpower I need now. Get me Sevilla. Is that how you say it? Is it, is it Sevilla? Sevilla, if you're Sevilla. Spanish. Sevilla. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Boom. What? What's this? Why are we in a peace deal? Oh, I, 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 there's nothing I can do. Hang on. Did that kill the Soviet Union? Surely not. No. Free France set up a collaboration <laughs> government the in the Latvian it says, People's Republic. It says Latvian People's Republic takes following states from Latvian People's Republic. <laughs> it's because they liberated it. Yeah, so I, I literally... That's... The peace deals in this game are so broken. So they declared war on us. They've we puppeted, crushed them. We get literally no land in the whole peace deal. They've, they've puppeted them and they're, and they're all going to be hostile to us. So we're going to... I mean, this is about to go very badly wrong. Let's hit down and let's see what, what happens here. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> what an absolute joke. What is the... Quick, quick, get the, get the transport planes. Oh my god. Get the transport plane, Tans. What an absolute mess. <laughs> there like are the some people... in have been screwed. The, the, communist, <laughs> the communist Iberian Socialist Union still exists in here. As does Carlist Spain. And then oh there's the Uri god. United Republics of Iberia. What a joke. And then there's the Republic of Galicia, which is at war with us, and Basque Country. So is it, is it just Spain? We've, we've been no, no. Hang on, Latvia exists now as well, and it's in, it's now where I can circle my entire army in <laughs> Latvia. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> sorry, tra sorry, the transport planes will solve this. We don't need transport planes. Stop using transport. Planes. Christo, look, look, look at look at Spain. We can take it back. Um, it's no problem. We can, but I'm, this, we, we've been cheated by the game here. That is, like, comically bad, because, I mean... Alright, so I'm paused. It's an absolute laugh. Iberian Socialist Union has joined the front again, seconds after having oh, this been is, there. This is, this is just horrendous. I want to, I, I literally, I've like, got to manually order these units to take back empty provinces. And who in here is... Oh, oh, Spain exists as well, by the way. <laughs> Spain and Spain. Spain. I'm calling it Spain. There's Spain, Basque Country, Republic of Galicia, United Republics of Iberia. Spain with no portrait. <laughs> Just Spain, Spain is also a thing, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at the, look at the supply map mode in Spain. Oh, my God. <laughs> there goes the United Republics. Raise me! <laughs> Okay, Did right, they call in the fine. Soviets at the last second? Oh no, they didn't. I thought they'd called in the Soviets at like the absolute final hour. Okay, we've we've managed to resolve the situation. We. Yeah, we. I I did all of that. We mean. My my trick. What do you mean? What did you mean? What do you mean? I marched. I marched. I took like all the victory points. Don't don't denigrate the contribution of the Germans. Madrid, German, German Madrid Army. Barcelona, but I, Lisbon. I, I, Oh, freaking Latvia, I cannot believe you exist. Oh, Spain has capitulated, by the way. <laughs> I feel like the Iberian Socialist Union is almost certainly going to fall to... Um... God, Spain is just chilling independent. <laughs> See, we, we all of them. No. <laughs> no, they're just, they're just, no one's at all of them, they're just chilling. <laughs> So, so, so this guy was like, you know what, in this peace deal, we're going to have this, this part of Spain. And everyone was like, yeah, it's fine, no worries. <laughs> no worries, man. <laughs> it's not even the right bit of Spain, it's like a completely different bit. Yeah, no yeah, yeah, no worries, Manuel. You just take, like, <laughs> three states in Spain, nobody cares. Not, even, not, even, not even the other parts of Spain care. <laughs> Watch 
yeah, I have a strong feeling that new new socialist Spain in Portugal is going to fall to the Allies and then we'll have to retake it again. Cannot believe. Who holds this? Are we at war with them? No, who's this? The United Republics of Iberia. No, they're, yeah, they're in the Allies. So why is it not showing me as hostile to that tile? Oh, control, what? <laughs> hey, accept these um, requests for control of the state. I think it will fix it. I can give them back. Yeah, it did indeed fix it. Pog. So I think what we're learning here is you can use ask for control of a state to gain control of the rest of a state. Even if, <laughs> even if it's controlled by someone hostile to you. <laughs> we should definitely use that to see if that works again on the Soviet front. Because that would be yeah. broken as all hell. Now that would let you just take one tile in a province, and then... No, no, they have to be flagged as a controller, I suppose. But if it means if you just, like, para-dropped the victory point, you could then flip all the rest of the state. <laughs> yep, and the allies have shown up. Oh no, another bloody Iberian... Yep, they are indeed all the allies. They're now going to try and push in from freaking Burgos. Oh my god. Branch, independent branch spirit. Air accident can't chance down. That sounds good. How right. is my railway coming? Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, and also I should switch these guys to this because this gives them better uh, supply. Alright, apparently we set up. I'm going to need some troops to do naval invasions. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh. oh yeah, you guys probably shouldn't be exercising because you're currently on the front line, <laughs> engaged in combat. Uh, we can cancel the non-aggression pact at will, by the way. That's good. So are we still at war with them at all? No. It's just the allies we're at war with now. The US has not very many men deployed. <laughs> They have up to 140 divisions right now, apparently. They're not doing very well. How goes my collaboration government thing? It's in progress. God, I'm so I'm still so disappointed that the different phases of the uh, spy missions are just meaningless. Like yeah. There's, there's no, like, choose which one, and it costs different things, and it has different chance of different outcomes. So that would yeah, have been be so cool. Alright. Maven invasions, airborne invasions. Everyone's happy. I'm going to invent... Mm, more fuel? <clears throat> I'm losing quite a lot of trains to enemy bombing. Maybe I should get some armoured trains. Yeah, here. I continue to do that, have that happen as well. I mean, I'm what? I lost 90 in the last 30 days. I think I'm almost exclusively armoured trains now. My support, my support equipment deficit is down to 2.7 thousand. So it's coming down, which is good. Considering I have like a billion factions on it, like 24. Right. Oi, oi, oi. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's exclusively flaming tanks that I'm trying to build. I now have 328 <laughs> strat bombers. I could deploy these tanks if it weren't for the fact that I was slightly Let short go, of Fulka. infantry equipment. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm short of. It's not the best. I should probably fix that. Naval invasion in Sumatra. 
What the hell? Oh, Java. <laughs> we have Java, by the way. Sorry, Sumatra. Really? Java, Java is falling to Australia. But yeah, All because right. of... Uh, because of the Dutch East Indies. All right. Okay, so I now have... Okay, I have 2.8 thousand fighters in, in surplus now. Which is, which, is, which is better. I'm severely lacking in cast, actually. I've, I've, I've had, like, six factories on it. Yeah, I've got... I think I'm up to 20. I'm, I'm building way too much artillery. Like, way, way too much artillery. <laughs> Oh, good lord, I have so much. I need more on. I'm now making too much light, too many light tanks as well. Infantry. I'm down 6,000 infantry equipment. Oh, I can give you like some if you want. I could do with a, a quick 10k infantry equipment in future. Would you like 100,000 infantry equipment? I would not. Why not? There's too many. But I have 213,000. <laughs> Alright, I'll take 100,000 of a joke, woman. <laughs> As predicted, there was a British naval invasion of southern Portugal, which means I'm now able to take it off the neutral country. Eighty thousand car ninety eight. Thank you. Yeah, it was a tip I saw online, which the is a good rifle. one. Just put one factory on your oldest infantry equipment, and then never touch it for the entire game, and you'll just always have a huge surplus. But you can't mark it; it's not obsolete, so you have to get that pop up for the whole game, which is not worth it. <laughs> Even if it's a good strat. <laughs> right, when's my Sweden thing? Seventeenth of January. Am I? Oh, right, I can invade Estonia. I didn't realise. Tanks. We're just going to put all my tanks in the front line and do, and do yeah, a bit. Yeah, seems so like artillery, huh? Literally all uh, of the... Look at the look at the unit types they have on the front. Yeah, they have a lot of artillery. It's cavalry and artillery. It's World War One hours going on here. I have 9.3 thousand artillery in surplus. That's quite a few. It's quite a lot of artillery in surplus. I need, I need, like, more oil. What's the problem here? Why am I not winning? Uh, Venezuela, give me oil. Oh, they're there? No way there. Not much. Have I just ruined like Britain's navy? Also, um, look at Ireland. <laughs> oh, go Greece, go! <laughs> it's Hungary. No, sorry, not Hungary. Who is Hungary that? and? Belgium, it's Belgium, Belgium, and Greece. That's not Hungary. That's uh, it's Belgium. All Belgium. Hungary's dead. Oh, of course, yeah. They're all Belgium and Belgium Greece. Belgium and Greece, be. absolutely ball in their way through. Ireland. Uh, <laughs> freaking American. I don't know what's tanks. happened to the British Navy. It seems to have just disappeared. American tanks landing in southern Portugal. I, I haven't even. I haven't even sunk it. You need to garrison I your Iberian holdings. Oh shit. Yeah. Let me just let me just knock out like a few like extra divisions. Oh wait, I need to go manpower law. I'm on no manpower. You can ask me for garrison support if you want. Uh, how much manpower have you got? Eight hundred thousand. Will that will that will that then backfill and give me manpower back? Yeah, I believe so. Well, go right. Can you Worth choose how much you ask for? Uh, request garrison support. No, I can't. I can't do that. You have to just I can pick a number. I'll give you. Yeah. His, his 350,000 manpower. We'll see what that does. Okay. I'll wait for a tick on the day. Yeah, it gave me, it gave me, it gave me a bunch of back. Nice. Right, I'm, let me probably, just build I'm probably doing all your garrisons now. Let me build an entire new army of troops. Nice. It's not even made a dent in my... I would like to... The poor equipment is better, it's a problem. Actually, that's, that's, yeah, okay. It's fine then. What? I would like you to take responsibility for more of the Soviet France. Uh, yeah, I can do now. Good. That said, I do have plenty of men, so. All right, right okay. I, I would, how far down do you want me to, down to like the East Prussian? Your bit, point? yeah, basically, like yeah. your front, past Will and Vilnius, yeah. <clears throat> All right, let me just uh, like deal with this thing real quick. Boom, boom. 
these guys. All right, I should probably put some. Way. I should probably put some planes on my my front. I reckon. I have been moving mine around occasionally to back you up. When are those guns getting here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Transported 75%. That does not sound right. I'm still waiting. Green air. I can't be right. Onwards to Tallinn. Da, 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 oh. da, da, da. <laughs> Both put our guys in the same port, I see. Romania rejects Soviet demands. Go on, Romania. <laughs> if they accepted, do you think it would have given the Soviets better Arabia? I bet. I it hope would. so. That would have been really funny. <laughs> Just continuing the trend of AI absolutely screwing me. Yeah. Name a more iconic duo than Christo and being screwed by the AI. <laughs> Ooh. I'm building infrastructure. I don't know. I think infrastructure affects the ability of stuff to move from supply hubs to the units. Right. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Still short on freaking infantry equipment. I don't think I need these um, cavalry divisions anymore. So I'll disband them. That should give me a bunch of infantry equipment. Oh, right, my garrisons are short infantry equipment. Did I ever invent military police? Maybe I should work on that. Did you not? No, never bothered. Rookie mistake, mate. It's only like 10% less. How much, how much infantry equipment are you using for occupation right now? Uh, also, I have you get, seen that? I should get some garrison support from some other people. Um, Greece, give me some garrison support. Um, oh, damn, Estonian Lake, man. Oh, no, it's fine. Equipment right in there. the field? No. 24 divisions there. 24 divisions there. Here we go. Yeah, I'm using 30,000 infantry equipment and 250,000 men to equip to garrison people. Iraq. Can I have some garrison support? No. Belgium. No. Okay, and then I've got other units like this guy. <clears throat> Wait, what? Does Kyle Spain have their normal focus tree? They do. So Kyle Spain is going to start doing all kinds of stuff soon. Why do I have a division going north through the Suez Canal to go to Africa? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't order this. What's going on? <clears throat> oh, it's these guys. Oh, like... after, our, after that war ended, that kind of ruined the uh, communist position in Africa, by the way. Ah, okay. Belgium's back. Belgium's back. Belgium's back, but they don't like their land in the north. I don't think it's even showing as occupied because it's cord now. Oh god! And have you seen Belgium? Uh, look, north Brussels is getting bombed to shit. It's like half the factories there are blown up. What will the, what are all your tanks doing in Vienna? Where are they going? Hey. You've got a bunch of tanks rolling through Vienna and Brunei right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. They're not supposed to do that. <laughs> they, they're, they're going to their one remaining front line, which is in southern Spain against, <laughs> against Carlos Spain. Okay, stop. Let's not do this. Why don't we go over here? Oh, you can just get a raw 10% better air efficiency on all air missions from this Air Force Command upgrade. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. It seems good. Right. How's my supply situation? Uh, kind of okay. Do, do, do. Right, make sure they're all fully motorized. That's what I need to do. Oh no! Damn, I lost my my Soviet um, spy network for no reason because I sent the wrong people on the collaboration government mission. Let's see if it works. I think it will. Um, I don't think I need many of these 
air department might help a bit. Why am I getting a neighbor invasion sound? Oh, they, Sumatra, for yes. God's sake. Did it work? The Japanese People's Republic. I forgot they went communist. Mm -hmm. But they're 79% fascist. <laughs> yeah. Man's got bad civility. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, hang on, that's a three-way fight in the in Indonesia, because the Dutch East Indies are us, who are fighting the Allies, who are fighting the Asian Communist Solidarity faction, which includes the Japanese People's Republic. Alright, I got... This tech show, it's not, it's not giving me what I want. There's nothing actually in here except inviting people, so... No. Okay, all right. Their factory is outrageous. In fact, I need more aluminium. Sure. From Bourbon, France. No, it's Bourbon, France. He's give me. To, he's give me. It. Oh, I've got a surplus of 169 tungsten. Where the fuck has that come from? <laughs> Where's all my tungsten come from? Um, I don't know. I have just in. Oh, it's from Portugal. Ah, uh, yes. Right. That means I can switch my tungsten import from Korea to you. Yeah, I have a lot of tungsten now. I need some more of your steel. I don't well. even need to invade Sweden, but I'm still going to. <laughs> How's that war between Finland and Soviets going? Oh, it didn't actually happen. They're in the Allies, but they haven't been called in. I guess they have the dangerous front lot of fire. <laughs> Sorry to abandon our front again. Good stuff. Excuse me a sec. I should go to bed, probably. Outrageous. We'll have to complete this tomorrow. Uh, Are you around in the day tomorrow at all? Uh, no, not really. Humbug. I might. Yeah, I'm around, I'm around tomorrow evening, but we're doing D and D, so. <clears throat> yeah. F. No, I'm I'm not around tomorrow daytime. Your supply situation on the Soviets is not perfect. Well, you banned planes, so what did, what would you want? Build railways. I'm down building fucking railways. The plains of the land. <laughs> the plains <laughs> of the land. <laughs> and I gave you a nice supply hub in Villainous. Okay, I'm going to upgrade some of these railways. What's next? It really is not taking many trucks to have this fully motorized army. Oh no, my agent was captured in, uh, in Russia. I can't believe Shift W is the shortcut to get to the intelligence map mode. It's kind of insane. How much intel have I got on the Soviets these days? Must be quite a bit, right? Up to 60% there. Still can't see their blooming active focus, but I can see what they've done. So what are they heading towards here? They've decided to not return the party to democracy. They instead went as enemies of the state. But where's their... Uh, where's their actual, like, warring focuses? They've completed, like, almost none of their focuses, man. They have so many left to do. Who? The Soviets. Oh, right. Oh, they can do offer Poland protection. That's a focus they have available. Nice. I get claims on your states, and then if, you, if the Soviets conquer them, they give them to me. Fair enough. But they haven't, oh, like, they haven't done like any of their industrial focuses. How is their industry? Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Does it? Morocco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, that was in the Spanish peace deal. Which yeah. is also why there's a uh, supply horrendous war going on between our allies in, in Morocco. Oh, we're at war we're, we're Morocco, I didn't realise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they came out of Spain. One of the many things that got disgorged when Spain imploded. <laughs> oh man, supply near around Nava is not good. There has to be a way to sort this out. Around where? Nava? Nava, in Estonia. Your, your, your supply hub is not um, good enough. 
because of the level 2 railway in a bunch of places. And for some reason I can't upgrade it. Oh right, I can manually upgrade it, but I can't... Uh... So if I did this, that will help. I will, I will help with the southern bit by getting that apply hub up a level. These routes seem very inefficient. I've just, I've just put the moose of the tanks further south, I think. Now, what's going on here? Why is that, why is that done that? There we go. I just want to see these modern tanks. But we're going to have to wait till next time for that, I think. Hey, Fair my, enough. My flaming tanks are coming out nicely, though. What's going on? How much would it cost to move more flaming tanks? I'm nearly there actually, so let's do it. <clears throat> and then yeah, short exercise, why not? You guys are all up to practically all up to veteran, aren't you? Yeah. Why are they not moving? Have I got all those spare guns? Yeah. Oh, because this is a freaking late, that's why. I can't believe I'm going to have to waste 30 supply network just to get this guy out of uh, the Soviets. Outrageous. Oh no, you stop training. Only, only conditional train. Good. <clears throat> yeah, so what are my light tank brigades? Did I not switch them over? I thought I did. Oh, of course they have the same icon. Flaming tanks can have... A new icon. This one. <clears throat> so one of my flaming tanks on the border now. 465 soft attack. We should be more in practice, obviously, because he's going to get the planning bonus and stuff. But 466. Pretty good. <clears throat> Goodbye, Sweden. Ah! Uh, no, fleet. Where's my fleet? Maybe I'll build some more really old subs. I don't have any planes ever. Whoops. Whoops. That's my fighters. Fighters. Go to southern Sweden. Finland has joined Lithuania. As our ally. What? 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 No. No, Finland's at war with us now. Okay. <clears throat> well, you... Oh god. Oh wait, we're in a peace deal. Oh we're against... god, it's this again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same peace deal. We have the... Alright, alright, the... right, we're, we're, we're in it this time. This okay. time we have the points, yeah. Well, who is this against though? <laughs> wait, hang on, Iraq? Iraq is my subject. What the f... <laughs> They're not our subjects, right? They're in our faction. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Spain, Iraq, Iberian Socialist Union, and Iran. You better be giving that land to me, by the way. Yeah, of course. You weren't, you dick. Just pass. Hang on. Take stuff back. Take stuff back. Just pass. And we, we, we hand them. We pass back and forth. And they can't do anything. This is fun and, fun and engaging gameplay. Fun and engaging gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> We just keep doing this until we can do what we want. Yoink! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Nah, make nah, uh, nah. make Iraq independent. Make Iraq independent. Like make them a make them a satellite or something. Puppet them. I can right, puppet. I can't do it. <laughs> well, we're gonna hit hit end turn a bit more. Here, I'll turn on my auto clicker. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> How do they still work like this? <laughs> it's been. Like seven years. Oh yeah, so I made a bug report on the uh, Hoi forums the other day, and it was a bug that had been, it's been in the game since Waking the Tiger. So I included in the bug report. By the way, this bug recently celebrated its its third birthday. So it'd be good if you could take a look. Oh, it's my turn. Cool. Iraq. Puppet. No, oh, I can't. Because I need to let you go. Iraq. Puppet. I can do it. Huzzah. 
You now need to... 717 uh, points that cost me. I gave it the rest of its land. <clears throat> you should give it a bit of a run. All right. Uh, and then we'll go <clears throat> fucking Iraq. Have have this weird bit of a run that exists. <laughs> and now we've just got what's what's left. Oh, like you took you out. took. The, all right, does that make sense? Yeah. What is left? The Spanish islands. All right, I'll pop it and then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Done. So is this gonna like screw with stuff? <laughs> it doesn't like it. It moves our Soviet front. Oh god damn, I just spent a whole bunch of time building goddamn Oh shitty hell, I fucking invasion of Sweden's going on. I just spent a bunch but of time. It's not actually going on because I haven't got air superiority over stuff. I just spent a whole bunch of time building infrastructure and railways based on the current border with the Soviet Iran, and then it goes and moves. This is not the most organized invasion of a country you've ever seen in your life. Right, has anyone else landed? No, it's just these guys. Right, just, just sail there then. <laughs> I think I am going to switch over to armored trains. How do I not have nail supremacy in the Baltic? What the fuck has Sweden got? <laughs> not much. They have 800 units of supremacy. You, oh, you're using air supply, you bastard. I've, oh, I've turned on the cheat codes. <laughs> it's so dumb. Right, you rescue him. What happened to my other operative? Why did I lose an, uh, a unit of... Why did I lose an operative? Is that because you puppeted? Yeah, oh, for God's sake. So I had an extra, <laughs> I had an extra dude, a new extra operative because Iraq was a member of the faction, but puppets don't give spies. So now that Iraq is no longer a member of the faction, I lose a spy. It's so, All the, right. the spy stuff is so poorly thought out. It's jet engine time. <laughs> nice. And also nuclear reactor time. Nice. I now have uh, 543 strategic bombers. They're so, they're so expensive, strat bombers. Man. Are, I've got yeah. 39 factories on it. <laughs> they are very expensive. Um, negative 41. Oh, they're finally interdicting my... Um... No, no, they're not. Yes, they are. Uh, I need you should rubber, try, like, try, like laying, try like laying into England and then we'll see what their supply stuff goes to. All right, um, let's dump a bunch of my... I've got, I should have enough planes now to start doing some damage. I've got loads of fighters. Yeah, I'll send all my fighters over uh, England as well. I need to get my naval bombers deployed as well to do um, some port striking. Yeah, so just try and, try and get supremacy over southern England. Yeah, the spy stuff is, is annoying because there's right, so much bombers. potential. But they just didn't... Uh... Can really do it a good way. The flaming tanks. I have two two main tank offensives planned at the start of this war. It's it's kind of disappointing that Soviets are going to be a complete pushover. All right, strat bombing parties. I'm, I'm I'm only a contested. What do I want to destroy? Go for the like supply interdiction thing, and then just like blow up all their trains. <laughs> okay, we're just the logistic strike. We're attacking these supply hubs. Let's see what that is. We're, we're only a contested, unfortunately. They have two and a half thousand enemy fighters. I have more more of mine to deploy. Yeah, so do I. 
Try not to overflow air bases. I shall attempt to not do that. You have some weirdly deployed ones in Normandy. There's like 1274. They might not be yours, actually, now I think about it. Yeah, they are yours, though. Which ones? And your fighters are on interception, by the way. They will soon be on the correct one. In Normandy, you have like 78 to too many. Oh, right, yeah. Also, I think we can use close air support for this as well, can't we? Uh, yeah, CAS can attack logistics as well. I'm going to send in my CAS there. Just curious to see how much damage we can do. You've got thousands of fighters in um, Estonia. God, our air efficiency is terrible! I don't have the range Wait, hang, on, hang on, how's it? Our air efficiency is higher, but we're losing? The fuck? I mean, it takes a long time for your efficiency to climb once you've arrived in a new area. Yeah, but we, but we have higher efficiency. And dramatically more planes. Yeah. They have uh, much better enemy air, air detection from radars. Oh, I've got some radars. <laughs> Not that it would really matter. Just throwing it all at this random little side project. Yes. The thing is, we don't have good enough intel on them to actually know how much impact we're doing. I mean, I've already, I mean, I've, I've sunk like a billion convoys. I think I've sunk like three and a half thousand convoys. Oh, nice. Okay, we can know how exactly how many trains they have. Okay, they have two two forty nine trains and twelve hundred trucks. I'm watching the okay. number. It's not going down. I have all my strap bombers deployed. I should really Enemy. do <laughs> Alright, okay. Last thing I want to check, though, is the modern tanks. Now that I've got better radio, how much better is it? Oh, it's a lot better. Five extra breakthrough. Yeah. So the better, the better radios are very much worth it for the... Uh, the modern tanks. Ah, uh, okay. No, we're we're misreading this graphic. I know why we're I know why we're not. We haven't got great um, success. Oh yeah. You see where it says Southern England enemy fighters one three five eight and then a four below it. <laughs> I think that's thirteen thousand five hundred fighters. Right. I think it's it's overflowing on the low line. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. How the fuck have they got thirteen thousand fighters? Oh that my does... god, yeah, yeah, the total airplane count, 16.5 to 23,000 fighters. Fuck me, Britain. They're off, yeah, they're, oh god. That's, a, that's obscene. Alright, cool. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I gotta go to bed. In the next episode, we will bomb the Christ out of England, and then probably use modern tanks to absolutely bollock the Soviet Union, which will be good fun. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.